is the highest place of uh, that um, amount of olives and from the end of 4th century another lady decided or not decided uh, discovered that the other place that we are now heading will be um, is the place that he ascended into heaven and from the end of the 4th century and yeah, the church was built at the beginning of the 5th century everyone worship that story that event there sadly that church being destroyed by Saleh um, in the 12th century being destroyed and now it's a mosque for some of us it's a little bit problematic to enter to a mosque to pray but let me tell you that there are there is a it's not free but it costs money but they are really love to see christians are praying there and um, every every day the day of the ascension every year catholic greek orthodox um the ceramic church copts are going there and have right to pray and to have ceremonies then don't say no it's called the chapel of the ascension Then let's visit it for a few minutes. It's open. It will cost you five shekels. And you're there. Mount of Olive, Chapel of the Ascension. That was the gatekeeper, he saw me. And because I'm a tour guide, I can go without paying a penny. Yay! I saved one dollar, one and a half dollar. Surprisingly, I might be the only one here. Hmm. And not surprisingly, I am. <laughs> now, the Byzantine church was as big as that. See the columns of the Byzantine church. It was made of three uh, rand. three circles and the first one was a fence and the idea that the center uh, will be the ascension part you can see the remains of the Byzantine that shows you how big it was and it was as big as the Church of the Holy Sepulcher and the shape of the Dome of the Rock as you can see, the Armenian altar is here as well. Coptic altar. And this Syrian altar. And you can see the hooks there. They are building tents there. What you see here is mainly from the Crusader and the Muslim time. This is not less than the ascension point. When we go backward, you will see every part of it. Ah, what a beautiful picture to take. I'm so happy. And blue sky. It's supposed to be a rainy day. And you can see the minaret of the mosque. That, um, this is the... Uh, last circle of the Crusaders. Uh, what left from them here is the 
um, marbles, arches and columns. And each capital is different. Then let's make a run tour around it. It was open. The dome wasn't there and there were no walls. Oh, what's happened here? Look at the beautiful... Don't worry, we will enter soon. Amazing, isn't it? You got a message. The Muslims turn it... Oh, this is beautiful. Turn it into a mask, but they believe in the in, in, in uh, Jesus ascension. Uh, his name in Christianity in uh, Islam is Isa, and he um, um he wasn't God or son of God. He was a prophet, uh, not the last prophet because the last prophet is Muhammad. Then they closed the dome and they turned it in ma into a mask. But then they realized that the Christians really want to pray that too. Then they built another mask next to it. And this is open for uh, Christians and Muslims. Then let's go in. The weather is amazing. It's 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, 24, 22 degrees Celsius. Then what do you want you to imagine that there were no walls here on the arches and no dome. And at the beginning there were two two stones here, rocks here, that's one and that's the other one. And according to tradition, and this is, I don't know why, Christians, Christians, not others, actually laughing at me. According from, from the 4th century, it actually marked that those are the rocks that Jesus st stood on it. And when he ascended in heaven, he, he left um, his print, footprint. Um, don't say no. Accept it as it is. There were two. One, the other one was uh, actually disappeared. We don't know where. Some believe, people believe it from uh, it's in the wrong Vatican. Some people believe that it's at the uh, Al Aqsa Mosque. Uh, some people believe that disciples took some souvenirs. Then I don't know. They removed it a little bit and they built a mihrab here. You know, every Muslim that um, prays here. Um, is praying through Mecca, and this is the way to Mecca. Uh, another thing that people used to laugh at me when I uploaded the last video of that church is the donation box. In so many churches that I know, in Jerusalem, all over the world, there is a donation box there. What's wrong with you? Let me put that cross on that energetic stone. Betty, EJ, that's for you, but that is for everyone who believes in Jesus now and watching that video. Amazing, isn't it? I want you to imagine him standing here together with the 12. Actually, yeah, there were 12 already. Judas wasn't there, but there was another one. Um, and he told him, I will come back from the same spot. Again, I will come back from the same spot. I will say it again, I will come back 
from the same spot. For me, this is the story. Not only the ascension of Jesus in heaven, the second coming of Jesus will be here. And that is a wonderful thing to remember. Then the disciples were here. And then he ascended into heaven. They couldn't understand it. And two angels, or two people who dress with white, for me they are angels, told them, what are you doing here? He's not here anymore, but he will come back from some spot. And um, according to the Jews, it might be the place that the high priest used to burn a red, uh, sacrifice a red uh, cow, and they used to purify it the people who mold, who had a uh, illness or something like that, it might be here as well. But I want you to understand that according to Judaism, Jesus, uh, um, the Jewish Messiah, which is now Jesus, will enter to the city from Mount of Olives. According to the Muslims, Allah, this is the mosque. Oh, usually it's, I cannot even see what's happening there. Now you can see the entrance to the mosque. According to the Jews, the Masah will come from here. According to the Muslims, Muhammad will build the bridge between Mount of Olives, we are at Mount of Olives, to Jerusalem, and the Gul disciples will, um, Enter to the city from here. Mount of Olives is the border between Jerusalem and the desert, which is at the other side. And there's so many things that happen on top of it. Today, their place is mostly Palestinian, but I don't know if you mentioned you saw the Israeli flag there as well. Amazing, isn't it? And we are the only one. We are the only one. You and me. Did you subscribe my channel? No, not yet. Then until the end of that bougainvillea bush and olive tree, I want you to do that. And and if you will push the, if you ring the bell, there's a bell there, uh, you will get the latest videos of mine. Remember, we came from Aloana. I'm so happy that I did it. I woke up today at 5 a.m. to reach that place because I wanted to, uh, all the churches are, are, are open until 12 a.m. Um, and uh, I wanted to visit them. You have to see me. I'm smiling like a child now. I'm smiling like I'm actually watching Jesus on the donkey entering Jerusalem. And before we will say goodbye, can you wait with me? I want you to see Jerusalem from Mount of Olives for the first time. Can you wait, please? Good. Um, that area was a Jewish cemetery and you will see it soon. The Jews believe that then when the Messiah will come, there will be the first man who will, who actually will resurrect. I'm so happy. Now the only last church that I hope that it will be open uh, will be Dominus Vlavit. Vlavit, the Lord wept. But that will be in a different video that I will take, or not, I don't know. I will, sadly my watch is in my telephone, and I don't know what's the time now. And as you can understand, there's not a lot of people to ask. We are at Ar Hameshicha Street. That's where it is, Paternoster Church and Ascension Church located.
Benedict Nunnery is here. Those nuns, just like the Carmelite nuns that we uh, visit before, never visit Jerusalem. Now let me tell you something. The Carmelite can see Jerusalem from the place that we saw Jerusalem, not a lot. The nuns, they have the best view of Jerusalem. I uh, visit them uh, from time to time. You can see the entrance to their nunnery. They have an amazing garden. Which is worth visiting. But even Mount of Olives, you need more than one day to visit it. There are so many things to see. To see here. That ugly building in front of you is uh, Seven Arches Hotel. The only good thing that I can say about it is that they have the best view of Jerusalem. Are you ready? Are you ready to see the most beautiful view of Jerusalem? Then, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five. Let me run a little bit. Four, three, two. Let me make it more dramatic. That's the garden that we visit of Padre Nusser, Aluana. Do do doom. Do do doom. Do do doom. Da 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 da. Amazing. I will explain you about uh, the view when we'll sit in Pater Nuster, um Church, mainly because the view there is more dramatic than that. Can you understand it? More dramatic than that, but a little bit of it. City of David is right there. Um, this is the old city. That is the site of the Jewish temple. Today it's the uh, it's a mask. It's an Aqsa mask. See, the mask is there, and this is and the, do the Dome of the Rock is the place of the Jewish temple. Behind it, you can see another dome. Great dome. This is Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and this is the eastern wall of the temple built originally by, uh, by, uh, by King Herod, and you can see the Golden Dome. A golden gate there. So many, places, so many things to talk about it. But I want to go into um, Dominus Flavi Church before they will close it there. And um, then we will continue in my next video. Bye uh, bye to everyone. And EJ, I'm in love with your wife. And Betty, I love you. It's um, so amazing to talk with my describers and you're part of my family now. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.